Okay, you guys, so today is October 11th. It is 9.30. Currently admitted into the hospital. I have an IV on me. Okay, guys, so it is October 11th. It is around 9.45 now. Still no Advil. Just here in bed. Waiting. Tomorrow, supposedly, I will be having surgery to remove my gallbladder because... I have gallbladder stones, so I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, it is October 12th, 2017. It's like around 10.30. I've been in and out of sleep the whole night. I feel perfectly fine. The doctor just came in, said that my gallbladder isn't as inflamed as I thought it was, so there's no emergency surgery that needs to be done in reference to that. Um, he says he's gonna speak to my primary doctor in regards to me being discharged today because like I need to go like I don't want to be here anymore like I feel fine I don't feel any more pain like I'm perfectly normal can I just go home please okay guys so it is like about 12 minutes until 12 um it's basically 11 48 <laughs> so um both the doctor and the surgeon came in to talk to me today and they requested to do more tests on me and I was just like, I can't do any more tests. Like, I've done MRI with contrast. I've done ultrasound. I've done x-rays. I've done the pepidol exam. Um, and I've done another one, which I can remember, the PET scan. You know, I've done so many tests, and I'm just like, I can't do any more tests. Like, at this point, we understand it's my gallbladder issue. I will get it resolved if it's not an emergency surgery, like the surgeon said. And I can be discharged, please discharge me, you know, like, I want to go home, I, I need to go home, I need to go to work, I need to go to school. Um, this is my, my grand room, and uh, I'm just sitting here by the window. It's a cloudy day today, so. So yeah, I asked them to be discharged, I will most likely be discharged today, so hurry for that, and um, I think I'll keep you guys posted. what is up welcome back to my channel no surprise according to the title of this video it's gonna be another weight loss video if you guys have other videos that you'd like me to do like how I used to do beauty related videos back in the day let me know but I feel like the weight loss journey type of videos is what you guys are really liking and what you guys are really more like focusing on now if you want me to do more beauty related like I said I am more than willing to do that but if you just want me to stick to weight loss then I'll do that as well. Today's video is going to be related to my 9 month post-op VSG surgery. Wow, time just flies by doesn't it? So if you guys don't know what VSG is, VSG is vertical sleeve gastrectomy. It is a weight loss surgery that many people are doing. It's becoming really really a big thing out there. There are three methods to weight loss surgery. There is the, I don't know what the actual name of it is, but it's the balloon. So they put a balloon in your stomach that is non-surgical. They don't have to cut you up or anything, or I don't think so. Um, the VSG, which is what I had, they do have to cut you open. Not like completely, not like saw. Bruh. They do have to do five little small incisions, which I'll show you guys later on in the video and they reduce your stomach 70%. And then finally, there is the gastric bypass with that one. I think that one's the most like known out there. That one is the one that you lose the most weight the fastest, but I mean, my weight loss journey has gone like this. So the first thing that I am gonna be talking about is stats, of course. My starting weight, which was also my highest weight ever recorded, was 270 pounds. My current weight is, which is what I weighed this morning when I got on the scale, which was 152 pounds, which means I have had a total weight loss of, gotta get the calculator out, 118 pounds. That is my total weight loss. Nine months after having VSG, I have lost a total of 118 pounds. So. I'll tap myself on the shoulder for that one. I do have to mention that sometimes when you lose so much weight so fast, 
Of course, not only is your body gonna transform a lot and all that stuff, but I think the biggest issue is that sometimes us as human beings, we're just so hard on ourselves. And I know I'm a fault for that because I remember that when I hit like around six months, I was like at that halfway point of a year of having weight loss surgery. And I was just so keen on losing so much weight like so fast. And I already was losing weight like at a super fast, you know, pace. But of course I wanted more. Us humans were never conformed with what we already are given or what we already have. So I wanted to lose weight faster and I, I know that I was, um, you know, not eating as much as I should eat because after having weight loss surgery, you're supposed to have at least five meals a day every three hours, small portions, around four ounces each day. And I was only eating like twice a day. And of course I was still losing weight, but like physically I was just like, and mentally I was just like drained. Like I was just like a walking zombie, you know? And don't do that, you know? There are, you know, rules and guidelines to having weight loss surgery. It's not like you can just eat or not eat and you're gonna be losing weight. Yeah, that might be true, but there are health issues that you do have to take care of. In regards to water intake, I do drink a lot of water. I know that I'm supposed to be drinking more. I think I'm supposed to be drinking about 64 ounces and I'm only hitting around 40 a day. So, I mean, water, for me, I love water. For That's the only thing I drink, um, apart from when I go out every now and again, like I'll drink a beer. But, um... Apart from that, I love water. I don't have to sweeten my water with anything. I don't have to put lemon or anything. Or if you do like lemon, that's up to you. But I just love pure, clean water. Water is your friend, not your enemy. <laughs> Moving on to supplements. Now, there was an entire month that I just stopped taking my multivitamin, my calcium, my iron, my B12. I just stopped taking all of that because I'm an irresponsible person and I need to be trained apparently because I can't follow the guidelines you know so I stopped taking that for a month now I'm beginning again to get accustomed to that that is something that I push on myself so much because since I have such a busy schedule I just like forget a lot of things <laughs> and um, unfortunately Izzy you cannot forget to take your vitamins because if not you're gonna die your own life I'm not even exaggerating, like, you're gonna die. <laughs> now, I say that jokingly, but honestly, after having weight loss surgery, since your stomach is reduced 70%, your body isn't absorbing nutrients like it used to. It's not absorbing a lot of things that are gonna keep you running as a human being, that's gonna keep your brain functioning. So, the importance of taking your vitamins every day is super essential. And I'm telling you guys this, and I'm telling this to myself when I rewatch these videos because of course I'm gonna rewatch my videos, like hello, duh. When it comes to working out, I haven't officially begun to work out still. Like I said in my last video, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but I still haven't begun to work out and I know I really need to because just that feeling of going to the gym every day, like getting pumped, you know, sweating out, all that stress, like I love that. And now that I'm gonna keep on losing weight, like there's no way that I can like not lose weight unless I stick to McDonald's every day. And that'll be the death of me. You know, I miss my muscles. I still have muscles, like, but I miss like getting like bigger. In regards to junk eating or just like eating unhealthy stuff, I'm not gonna lie, I have, you know, snuck in my ice cream. And I have eaten, you know, fast food at McDonald's. Like, it's inevitable. Like, these are just things that our body is going to crave. But we just have to stop ourselves. Like, you can eat anything you want, but there has to be a limit. Because if you go back to the way that you used to eat after having the surgery, then what was the damn point? Why put yourself under anesthesia? Why, you know, play with life? because once you go under like there's a possibility that you won't wake up for that so why play with your life why go through the struggle of getting your body again accustomed to normal eating habits and you know training yourself to become this completely different person if you're going to go back to eating the junk food and the bad food that this country has 
because yeah I love the United States and I love my country and all of that but food here is just so bad like food in the United States is so processed with a bunch of nanoparticles and a bunch of chemicals that we just don't even have and preservatives just to keep it you know what is that called just to keep it you know fresh or whatever and yeah you can go vegan yeah you can do a whole bunch of different lifestyles but if you aren't willing to like change who you are first mentally and then go on with your life then there's no point to having weight loss surgery but I am not afraid to say that yeah I've eaten you know ice cream and I've eaten a cookie and stuff like that but will I eat bad every day hell no 95 percent of the time I'm eating super healthy and that's all that matters so if one day I'm gonna crave like a little ice cream yeah I'm gonna treat myself it's not gonna kill me so I don't think there's anything else that I have to talk to you guys about nine months after having VSG everything is pretty much the same my lifestyle is the same I'm eating good I treat myself good other people treat me good I can't complain you guys <laughs> So yeah, I just think I'm gonna do body shots. So this is how my body looks weighing in at 152 pounds. Nine months after having VSG surgery, these are how my incisions look. I don't even know if you guys can tell. And I didn't use any creams or any scar removing lotion on my incisions at all. That's how they naturally just healed. In regards to loose skin, of course I have loose skin, especially on my arms. Um, that's mainly why I would work out was because, you know, muscle, and I have muscle as you can clearly see, there's definition, but there's also a lot of loose skin and I can definitely feel my triceps and my biceps are definitely here, but there's just loose skin and that's inevitable and that's normal, but you have to work out if you don't want that much loose skin. So guys, I don't think I have anything else to say other than I love you and thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.